Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHex.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we have for this video is going to be like pouring perfume on a pig. The decal set for War for Cybertron Kingdom tracks my most disappointing figure of 2021. Now, this decal set includes four decal sheets, all on vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at tracks both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Trax doesn't look too bad. He's very faithful to his Generation 1 cartoon appearance. Taking a closer look at the figure, absolutely love the head sculpt. That is Trax through and through with the white helmet, the red face, and the blue eyes. There on the chest, we got a red Autobot insignia in yellow background. On the wrist, we got some nice details that are a nice throwback to the Generation 1 toy. Lots of sculpted details there on the legs, the waist, moving on down to these sloppy legs of tracks, lots more details and a product number right there. So I really hope that gets covered up and his pathetic feet. Of course, on top of the figure, we've got the rocket pods and that heck of a backpack that he has. So there you go, guys. There you have tracks in robot mode before. And after, Trax gets a ton of new decals thanks to Toy Hacks, and they are all absolutely G1 glorious. Yes, every decal is inspired by Trax Generation 1 toy, and I love it. Taking a closer look at the figure, starting here with the missile rack on top, he's got green decals that go along the or around the front of the missile. On the back, you got green decals here on top and the bottom. Just to show with the G1, green stripes around the front, and you've got the green on the back. I love it. The attention to detail is awesome. Moving on to the face sculpt, he gets brand new eye decals, and I swear those are the smallest eye decals I have ever put on a figure. Here for the wings, he gets red stripes and a little green and yellow square right there in the center. New decals that cover the pins on the wheels. Moving on down to the chest, he gets a new gold decal with a red Autobot logo. Now you do have some options. You can just put a regular gray logo on there. I went with the gold because he's also got new gold decals for the windows there on the chest. Moving on down to the forearms, new decals here. Down onto the waist or the crotch piece, there is a red decal right there in the center. The thighs get new decals right there. Moving on down to the shins, new decals here that fortunately cover up the uh, product number. New decals right there on the lower shin and new decals on the feet. He also gets decals that cover up the pins on the joints. You got gray for the knees and some blue right there for the legs and up here for the forearms. So yes, Trax looks amazing. Now if I can get him to stand up, gotta love the legs on this figure. So I'll bring in Generation 1 Trax so you can get another close look at the two together. Toy Hacks always amazes me when they do the Generation 1 throwbacks. So there you go, guys. There is Trax in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Trax looks okay. He's quite plain looking, aside from the big red Tampograph flame emblem there on the hood with the white Autobot logo. 
black there for the grill, a little bit of gray underneath. The tires and wheels look decent. I like the tire detail. It looks really good. And the rims. The back rim, the big pin kind of throws that off. Trax has clear translucent windows that look terrible in my opinion because you can see all the robot junk on the inside, especially the bottom of his feet. Moving along the rear of the vehicle, more translucent plastic right there. You've got lots of nice molded detail along the back and there's some white for the fins from flight mode. Big chrome pin right there the center. And really, that's about it. Vehicle mode would be so much better if this piece right here would stay tabbed in. But, oh well. So there's one final look at tracks in vehicle mode before. And after. And the first decal you're probably noticing is the brand new bright yellow flame decal on his hood. I love that. Now you do have two different options. You have the bright yellow that I chose or you have gold. Now I picked the yellow because, well, it looks so close to the Generation 1 toy and that is awesome. I mean, Trax was one of my all-time favorite G1 figures, especially for the alt mode and I love the flame decal. It looks so good. Also, here on the roof, you have a decal where it looks like the classic rub symbol. Not sure if mine still works, but when you'd rub it and get them warm enough, it would turn green. So I really like that. Also, on the side right here by the front, you got signal lights. You got chrome decals right there for your side mirrors. You've got blue decals right here on the back that cover up some of the white from the tail fins. The back of the vehicle has tail lights and a license plate that says tracks. And of course, he's got new windows. Now, like I said with the flame decal, you do have options for the windows. What I have on my tracks right now are the windows that go underneath the plastic. So it has this nice silver gray look. The other option is the gold windows. Now, with these windows, uh, one thing I cannot unsee is here on the front where the hinges are, it looks like Trax is a Cars character. Also, here on the back, it has the illusion that he has a half window instead of the full window like on the Generation 1 toy. But as I said, that is the one option you can use or you can go for the gold which I honestly think looks a lot better. I just really like the looks of that, especially the two-tone look where you have the darker collar here up top that kind of fades into the gold near the bottom. I think that looks really, really good. Now, word of advice for this decal set, you do need something to apply some heat with, whether it be a small space heater you have on your desk or a hairdryer set on low, because these decals need to form over the molded details of the figure. Now, the decals are vinyl, so they mold really easy with the heat and look really, really good. I forgot to point out, he does have new decals right there for the center of the wheel to cover up the chrome pin, which makes it blend in more with the wheel there on the front. So, all in all, I am really impressed with Trax vehicle mode. And oh yeah, I did use my heater to warm up the rub symbol here. At least I thought I did. There we go. So we can kind of do a quick comparison. I can't get it to stay green. There we go. Slightly. So yeah, I dig that. I think that is so cool. I love anytime Toy Hacks does these Generation 1 throwbacks. So there you go, guys. Tracks in vehicle mode after. In flight mode, straight out of the packaging, Trax looks pretty much exactly the same as he did in vehicle mode, except now his arms are out with the wings flared out for flight. You got the red and yellow decals there on the arms on the sides and the big white wings. He also now has white tail fins, and then of course you can put his dual rocket launcher on the back 
for some extra added weaponry. So there you go, guys. One final look at tracks in flight mode before and after. The only new decals that Trax gets in flight mode are these new decals here on the tail fins. You got red decals both on the outside and inside of the fin. Everything else you've seen in robot mode and vehicle mode. So there you go, Trax flight mode after. My opinion on War for Cybertron Kingdom Trax has not changed. He's still my number one disappointment of the year. I was expecting so much more out of this figure, and I was just left wanting. Hasbro really fumbled the ball on this guy. That being said, the Toy Hex decal set really adds a new level of appreciation for the guy, just for the simple fact I'm an old G1-er. I love the Generation 1 throwbacks that Toy Hex put on tracks. He looks so much better now than he did before. And he's going to look great on my shelf. So for that, Toy Hex, I thank you. Your attention to detail when you upgrade these newer figures with a G1 look always amazes me. And I couldn't be happier how this garbage figure turned out thanks to your decals. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that help keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!